Synthetic aperture is an image processing technique used to extract three-dimensional image information from multiple two-dimensional image data. For example, assume you have a camera pointed towards a man behind some bushes. With this camera you can see bits and pieces of the man, but he is not entirely visible. Now assume you have another camera looking at the same scene, but from a different location. With this camera you will see the man from a different angle, and will therefore see slightly different parts of his body. If we overlap images from several cameras, eventually we can reconstruct an image of the man behind the bushes while making the bushes become blurry. How does this work? Assume we have nine cameras arranged in a 3x3 array. Each camera can see the same two points, here shown as a red and blue dot in space, but from a different perspective. If the red and blue dots are collinear with the center camera, only the blue dot will be visible because the red dot will be hidden directly behind the blue dot. However, for the camera above the center camera, both the red and blue dot will be visible. This is due to a phenomenon called parallax. Parallax is the effect whereby objects close to an observer, a camera in our case, appear to move more than objects farther away. Synthetic aperture uses the phenomena of parallax to its advantage. This is how each of the nine cameras will see the two points. Here each camera has taken a picture of three-dimensional space and represented it as a two-dimensional image. This is where synthetic aperture comes in. By overlapping the image planes, we can change the focal length of the camera array. If we overlap the images more, a more distant image plane comes into focus. Now suppose that instead of only two points, we have a cloud of points. With only one camera, points closer to the camera will hide points directly behind them. However, with several cameras in different locations, points hidden from view in the first camera become visible in the other cameras. As images from the cameras are overlapped, points in different image planes come into focus. Let's suppose that the points represent small particles or droplets in a moving fluid. The points can be tracked to determine their velocity. Tracking how these points move is called particle image velocimetry. If we combine the principles of synthetic aperture and particle image velocimetry, we can track velocities of multiple points in three dimensions. This is called Synthetic Aperture Particle Image Velocimetry, or SAPIV. We now show how this can be applied to the field of speech production. During speech, air from the lungs flows between the vocal folds. This causes the vocal folds to vibrate and produces audible sound for speech. We are interested in characterizing the flow past the vocal folds because this will help us better understand the physics of speech production. It will also help us improve the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of voice disorders. To measure this flow field, synthetic models of the vocal folds were made of a soft silicone material. Pressurized air infused with small glass microspheres, about 70 microns in diameter, flowed past the vibrating vocal folds. The spheres were illuminated by a laser. An array of eight high-speed cameras captured images of the cloud of microspheres. Using synthetic aperture particle image velocimetry, it is possible to reconstruct the flow field in three dimensions. This illustrates how an array of cameras and the effects of parallax can be combined with particle tracking techniques to reconstruct and visualize a flow field in three dimensions.